好，我是千鸟，今天要为大家带来的是《全境封锁资料篇》。Hey, did you hear something about them closing the bridges tonight? First I heard about it. Who says? Frank said he heard it on the radio. Says the National Guard is doing a lockdown. What is this shit? Everyone getting all riled up over the goddamn flu? Yeah, it's messed up. I got bills to pay, man, and I can't pay no bills if I can't get out of the city. Hey, man, I've been thinking. How many Empire State Building guards you think went to work today? The shit is biblical out there, bro. And you're thinking about urbexing a major New York landmark? Exactly. Shit's biblical. You want to die in a tent covered in pus, or at 1,400 feet taking a selfie? Neither. Uh, fuck it. Let's do it. There's my boy. Bobby, I got through. Got someone at the press office. What did they say? They said they don't know, but the home games are canceled indefinitely, and the airports are shut. So, no one's traveling. I mean, the whole league's closed down. They can't just not play. I know. The whole world's gone nuts. Tom, what are we looking at? Since the smallpox announcement, Nasdaq's down 300 and dropping like a rock. Smart Money's expecting the NYSE to bottom out. Look, either way, we sell short. Jesus, you think it's the end of the world? A few people die and everyone with a cough thinks they've got the plague. That's what I'm counting on. He's expecting the situation. I don't know if he's going to get out. Finally, yes, hello. I took out a travel insurance policy with you on November 20th for my stay in New York. Now, I'm sure you've seen the news. All the flights out of New York are canceled and I'm stuck here, but now my hotel is telling me you've stopped paying for my stay. Yes, ma'am. Unfortunately, our travel disruption policy does not cover flight restrictions due to public health concerns. We are not liable for any expenses incurred. Oh, hell no, you are not pulling that shit on me. Get your manager on the line, I'll hold. Hey, where'd you go? We were all set to raid. My mom's gone insane. She had me check for rashes again. I'll be online as soon as I've had lunch. She's insisting we all eat together and pray and shit. Sucks to be you. Since the curfew, I've leveled up my alt to 24. My mom doesn't even let me leave my room. It's awesome. I'll be online soon, I swear. School ain't gonna be closed forever, man. You're missing it. Little girl, that's it. 不用上学，开心哦。Listen, I know what we talked about, but I'm not sure this is a good idea. Look, you remember the rats? We set traps for days, and it worked, right? Poisoned the whole colony. Only all them dead rats started rotting. It stank to high hell, and we had a zillion bugs. We ended up trucking two tons of rancid rat corpses to the incinerator. Yeah, but that was rats. I mean, this is a whole different thing. No, it ain't different. It's the same. They don't have places to put the dead no more, and there's more of them. Thousands of them in their houses, in the streets. If someone doesn't do something, it'll be just like the rats. We're going tonight. Bring fuel. Hey, it's me. Don't be dead yet. <laughs> I've been uh, working on a couple of green poison bits for the open mic night. I want to run them by you. <clears throat> so I say, I was brought up Catholic. I'm really bad at it, but you don't change teams in the middle of a game, you know? Uh, but now it's like things are starting to get a little scary, right? And I'm thinking maybe I ought to give this God guy a chance. Not committing to anything, just, you know, like when your mom pesters you for the 12th time about setting you up with a hot dermatologist who just moved into her building. I mean, how bad could it be, right? I don't know. Is that funny? Call me when you get this. Don't be dead yet. What's up? Why? 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 What's my name? Why? 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 Someone's broken into the apartment. Don't go inside. Too late. But there's no one here. It's not safe. Nothing seems to be missing. Wait. Did you leave a dollar bill on the fridge? No. There's writing on it. For your piggy bank. Signed, 
Your friend Reed. Don't touch it. Who's Reed? Mom, Jake says he's going to eat Raymond. He says there's no food in the store. That's crazy talk. And that they eat guinea pigs in Mexico all the time. Honey, calm down. No one's eating Raymond. Now put Jake on the phone. Hello? Jake, be nice to your sister. I said she could have half. I mean it. Fine. But don't blame me if she starves. John, where are you? We're right at the gate. The National Guard haven't let anyone through in like half an hour. People are fighting with the guard. Shit! Someone just threw a brick. This is getting ugly. Where are you? We're about a mile behind you. Nothing's moving. People are leaving their cars and walking. Hey, what's happening? John! They shot someone! Linda! Get down! They... Ah! John! John! Hello? Anthony, have you heard the sirens? A, a man on the TV was at the hospital and he said they've run out of room in the wards and are treating people in the corridors. At St. Jude's even. I saw, Ma, listen, I need you to pack a bag like when you stay over. Just enough for a few days. Can you do that for me, Ma? I'm not going anywhere in weather like this. Ma, listen, this with the hospitals and the looting? It's like Hurricane Sandy again. So Sharon and I are heading upstate, and we're going to swing by and pick you up on the way, okay? So start packing, and Sharon will help when we get there. Hey, I love you, Ma. <sighs> I love you too, Anthony. 911, what is your emergency? I'm the nurse at Beach St. Elementary School. I need an ambulance. We have two very sick children in the infirmary. They're running high fevers, vomiting, extremely photosensitive, and I can see spots developing on their legs and chest. Please hold. Yo, this is Chris. Leave a message. Hey, asshole, where the hell are you? You were supposed to pick me up at the airport three hours ago. Thanks for that. I had to fight my way through a freaking mob to get on some shitty bus. What's up with that? You don't do cabs anymore? Anyway, all right, I should be at your place in half an hour. You better be awake by then. All right, later. I don't want to be here anymore. Boring. I know, buddy, but I can't have you here in the hospital. And James says I can't watch TV either. Says it's only bad news on there. She's right. But don't you have some DVDs you could look at? I packed some for you. No, I've already watched them. All right, buddy. Well, put one on again, and I'll be back by the time it ends, okay? Uh, hey, man. Think you could come here real quick? I got shit to do. What do you need? Hey, so this guy was in my bedroom going through my stuff, right? Hit him in the back of the head. Now I got him tied up in my bathtub. Shit, for real? I don't know what to do, man. He see my face. He knows where I live. All right, I'll come over. You catching this? Afraid so. Is this the big one, you think? Might be. Good Lord. I'd hope we never see the day. How are you holding up for supply? Three months worth. Checked the water filter last week. Yeah, we should be okay, too. You can never be too careful. Hey, honey, how's this been? Wearing thin. Listen, I don't have good news. They've grounded the entire fleet, and it looks like nothing commercial is flying to the USA or Canada. So you're stuck there? Lisa, everyone's stuck everywhere. I don't know how long it'll be before I see you again. But your parents are coming in for Hanukkah this Friday. Are you going to make it home by then at least? I don't know, sweetheart. I promise I'll try. Hey, sweetie, you're calling early. Hey, uh, oh, okay, listen, uh, something seriously messed up here. I think we have to leave town right now. What? What are you talking about? Do you, c can you pack your bag, uh, the little green one, just, just whatever basics you need, not too heavy. I'll pick you up in a minute. We need to move fast. Babe, what's going on? I'm not, look, we can't wait or we'll be stuck. They're locking the island down in an hour. Okay, okay, I'll pack the bag. Hey, you reached the back yet? Yeah, door's busted. I'm going in. All right, let me see what's going on up front. You know, 
We should get some of those walkie-talkies instead. Cell phones are bound to go offline. Hey, I hear some people back here. <sighs> you sure? Yeah, come on. Grab your gun. Let's do this. I'll be all Can't pack. take your call, but you know what to do. Hey, Kim. Um, this is Alvaro. Um, I just wanted to call now with, you know, everything that's going on here, and... Well, basically, I just wanted to let you know that I, um... That I love you. I always have. Since we were kids, and, um... Well, I hope that you're well, somewhere. And that if things turn out okay, I just... I just hope you're okay, Kim. Bye. Hello, caller. You're on the air? Yes, I'd like to take a moment to let everyone know that, that what we're experiencing now, this is not the end of the world, or anything like that. The world existed long before us, and will exist long after us. What we're seeing here is, in fact, our just reward. We've mistreated the planet. We've mistreated society. We've mistreated ourselves. There's nothing unfair about this at all. But hopefully, this time, it's just a warning. And hopefully, future generations will learn from our mistakes. That's all I have to say. God bless us all. I found the mother load. What? Eight sacks of Canyon Double A Green Dry. Can't be more than a couple of months old. Coffee beans. Are you insane? I know, right? I got a gas by an air roaster too. Come on, I know you like French roasts. How the fuck did you? No, never mind. I'll be right over. <laughs> hey, it worked. We've got three pigeons trapped in that box thing on the roof. Great. I'll be back in like 20 minutes, then I'll talk you through plucking and gutting. I'm not doing that. If you want to meet dinner, you are. Come on, it's the least I can do after you force me to learn friggin' CSS. You need to get some rubber gloves and your least shitty kitchen knife. Oh, and some scissors for the wings. If I puke, it's on you. Like literally. Dude, they're here right now. Sarah's setting up an A station right on the corner. I told you, man, didn't I tell you? They're behind the virus. They're behind the National Guard coming in. Soon they'll be trying to vaccinate us. It's all about control, man. The one world government, they tried it after 9-11 with the flu vaccine. That didn't work. So now they've engineered another false flag attack on the heart of the free world. 9-11? You're eight years old. Will you ever shut up about this conspiracy shit? Hello? Hello? How does it look? It's a box full of bees. How the hell should I know? Ugh, Jesus, there's bees on me. Good, good. They're still active. The honeybees work all winter if they have food. Do they look well? They look like bees. The city is going to hell, Dad. Why am I doing this? I, I do it myself, but they've shut down the buses. Hey, look, honey. The winter won't last forever, and we have to be ready for spring. You look after the hive, and soon we'll have honey again. That'll be fun. That's the problem. And we've got Cindy with us now, live on the phone from New York. Cindy, what can you tell us about the current situation? Yes, Stephen, it's a chaotic scene here at the Lincoln Tunnel as citizens try to push through the JTF checkpoint before it closes indefinitely. There's still no official word on how long this lockdown will be in effect or what relief Sarah will provide to those who are left behind, many without power or heat. Emotions are running high, to say the least. And what's going to happen to the people who don't make it through the checkpoint? Have you been told anything? The JTF hasn't issued a statement, but honestly, it doesn't look great. Many of these people have packed their belongings into their cars, but those cars are backed up on Dyer Avenue. Hey, watch it! Dad? All routes in and out of Manhattan will remain closed until quarantine is lifted. Hey, buddy. What's wrong? I think they're trying to break in. Open up! Police! Don't open. Call 911. You're not picking up. Dad, you've got to come home. I'm trying, buddy, but the goddamn bridge. You're breaking down the door. Al, did you get the gun from my desk? What? Go get the gun. Dad! Ah, Chang, oh, that boy, you're
Go for Rachel. Your message won't leave itself. Hey, Rach. I'm just calling to see if you're okay. We left it on pretty bad terms, but I do want to make sure you're all right. They say this thing is going to get worse before it gets better, and... Look, I don't know if I have the right to tell you what to do, but keep off the needle, okay? If you need an ear, let me know. I'll be there if you need me. Welcome to Pricer House Customer Service. Due to recent events, our stores in the greater New York area will be closed until further notice. We apologize for any inconvenience and hope to continue providing quality food and service as soon as possible. Thank you. Tell me some good news. Yeah, I'm looking at a big red brick apartment complex over by the East River. Looks easy to defend. No armor to speak of and there's still people around. Rich folk. Shouldn't cause us any problems and probably got a lot of food and shit stashed. I say we set up here. You and your boy shake the place up. Cause some trouble and see who fights back. Things are as good as you say. I'll talk to Lorraine, see what she thinks about moving in. Understand? Oh yeah, I feel that. Then get on it. Dad? Oh. Is... I just saw the guy, Dad. He stopped moving and I think he's dead. Where are you? Are you okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> are you hurt? Did he hurt you? He was in the store, Dad. I, I had my gun, like you said, and he was in the pharmacy on fourth, and he was shouting at me, and he pushed me, and he... Are you okay? Did anyone see you? Come home, Quara. Just get home now. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. I got the flu pills, Dad. I got the throat spray, too. I'm coming home. God has a plan for us. Well, sure, but it's five in the morning. It's later than you think, Gary. Don't you see? The signs are all around. What are you... You're saying this is a... God is knocking on your door right now. Are you going to answer? What? I mean, Luis, is that you out there? Why is your face covered? Are you sick? It's a test, David. Open the door. No! I can't. I mean... Don't you want to know if you've been chosen? I don't have it. You haven't pawned it. Yeah, it's right where you left it. Good. Ammunition? Still in the box. Okay. Then load it up and put it in your pocket. You want to be able to draw fast. Dad, I'm not going to shoot anyone. I know, honey. But just in case, just please do what I say and get over here. Okay? If you like, you can click on the like button, share it out, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.